Whoa. You saw Whoa. That, yeah. Yeah, I'm like a rock. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It lights up. Wait until the crystal lights up. Oh. That makes a lot more sense. Wait, I clicked the thing. It didn't do anything. I'm clicking it very clearly. I think there's two ways to go, look. I think it's segways, don't it? Maybe. Let's let you sleep. See what happens. It's going to teleport us right to the- oh, we're back at the bureau. Okay. Let's see what this says. Uh... These are not useful. Yeah. Iteration, Sequoia Falco. It says go to the- Crystal and then go back on. So go to the crystal. No, no, yeah. Crystal should be right here. And then crystal. go back okay. the other way. Then just go back the other way. It's back this way. You think it'll have changed? I hope so. Okay, there's no bureau. Which is good. Oh, there's that thing. The church thing. The crystal again. Let's see. We want to follow 8192, right? 65, no. Click the crystal. Or click 65. I'm not entirely... It takes us back this way. The crystal, like, changes it. So we're on 65 now. If we don't wait for it to change... I think we want to try and stay on 8192. We've seen these before. And the trouble is, the, the crystal doesn't seem so much like a... Like it creates new ways, it seems more like it just creates shortcuts. Maybe we want to go to the bureau. Crystal, okay. Boom, 8192. I'm just gonna blaze by the crystal next time and see what happens. I'm not going to wait for it to put me on 65. Some crab oils in here. Some underground chuds. Gonna eat me. What do we got? What are you going to show me? Better be the way out soon. We're not seeing weird old shapes anymore. Okay, we're stuck on this loop, it seems like. 8192 keeps us trapped. Then go back the other way, just go back the other way. Without we're... clicking it, okay. Yeah. When we're at the self-storage, you, you said go to the crystal then go back the other way. Yes. What is happening? <laughs> It is very obtuse. The bureau. <sighs> Sequoia Falco still. Should we just go in the bureau and click around? Should I sleep again? See what happens? Yeah, sleep again. We need to find the doctors, don't we? Yeah. I guess sleeping just takes you back to the bureau, or it takes you to either to the bureau or the storage place, depending upon which ring you're on. But we need to get out of here. We've gotta get out of this place. I feel like the bureau might have something. So if I do this, it should drop me off at the storage place again. It did not. Oh, it did. Okay, it totally did. But I can't go there anymore. I can only go to the bureau. I think that wants me to go to the bureau.
go back to the bureau. Oh. Okay, Act 2, Scene 3. I guess I that was meant easier to go than to the doctors. I agree. That was. I mean, to be fair, I haven't been reading everything, so they might have said we need to go to the bureau to get something about directions to the doctors. I don't know. We'll talk to Mary Ann again. Our favorite receptionist of all time. Can we talk to Lula Chamberlain again? Uh, go back whenever we want. What does this mean? Oh, she's going to process us. Get on 65 going southwest, take a right just past the observatory. But these are all landmarks we don't even... Wait, talk to her again. It's oh, a second. you can't. Oh. Oh, we're back here. We just teleported back here. Crazy. Uh, Truman's house. Get on 65 going southwest, take a right just past the observatory. Just before the river, he continued north. You'll be there shortly. Just before the river. Okay. Uh, mouse. We're going southwest on 65. Working for an observatory. There's the river. So it should be before this. Take a right at the observatory. Okay. I'm going to go north. Is that right? Oh yeah, I suppose in relation to where you are. Yeah. The neighborhood at the address on Lulu's card has been demolished and its place is a large museum still partially under construction. Well, that seems not quite so useful. To the museum, then. Maybe they'll have some museum medicine. Act 2, scene 4. Museum of Dwellings. Dwelling is one of my favorite words. Like, garb. Okay, what do we got here? Nobody. A recording. I uh, just assumed they were from the power company. You know how they always coming up unannounced and messing with this or that. I just shut myself up in my room to wait it out. No sense getting involved. Is there anyone there? No, this is a recording, I think. Oh. Or is this just a voice coming from the air? Must have been one of the kids who left the front door unlocked. Something's got to be done. They run around the animals. They know what... They know that Flora left a can of soda on top of my sheltered door. And I almost killed myself stepping on that sticky mess the next morning. Something's got to be done. When's this umbrella button? Poof! I got an umbrella. And I'm indoors. I got a new atomizer for my... For my, um... E-cigarettes. Fucking tasty, man. Hmm. It's cola. What flavor? Cola, that sounds amazing. I love the Coca-Cola flavored gummy gummies. Oh, they're amazing. There's like little gummy Coke bottles. I've yeah. got bubblegum, apple, and cola. Bubblegum sounds weird. It's really nice. Okay. And it's sour apple. I love sour apple. Oh, okay. I, I can see that a little better. This wouldn't be good for... for smoking, but for some reason I've had this weird craving for dumplings so far this week. Uh, Chinese dumplings or... Yeah. Some steaming hot dumps right in my mouth. I don't like dumplings. It's the <laughs> other stuff that they're wrapped in. Like the, the, I'll, that, I'll, like I noodle-ish, call it pastry, whatever? It's not, is it? Yeah, it's more like a noodle? Yeah, I don't really like It's like it. raw pastry. It's, it's like wontons. Yeah, fair I enough. Like, I don't like wontons and spring rolls and stuff. Wontons are fried at least. Spring rolls can be okay. I love Chinese food, though. Yeah. Like, if I like if I had to choose one dish to eat for the rest of my life, considering taste, not nutrition necessarily, I would go with chicken chow mein. I'd go with chicken Cantonese style with chicken fried rice. I love fried rice. Do you know that in China they don't guess... eat fried rice? What? They only eat boiled rice. They just rice. eat it steamed? No, boiled. Boiled. They don't, they don't do... Um, Oh, that's, I guess if I make, uh, I don't know. They don't I do I rice. usually boil it before I fry it. Well, they don't do I fried don't rice always, at all. They never. I don't fry, fry rice. it that often. Okay. 
Frogs will give you warts. What are we even listening to? Uh, why am I even choosing dialogue options for a recording of the museum staff? This is not a good sign. We're meant to be looking at exposition. We're talking about Chinese food. Too weird. This I haven't eaten it today. That's the problem. This is not a good sign for this game. Oh, this is not a walk. I really want to like this game. I really want to. I wish I could really walk do. faster. Oh, there's my truck. Oh, I see. My perspective is off. Okay, let's go back in the truck. Can I even exit? We're trapped! The doors won't open! Why huh. do we need an umbrella? Because it's raining outside. Yeah, but we're not. We're not outside. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know what I need from this place. What's also weird is that museum dialogue was triggered by talking to the people with me. Like, I talked to Blue and I talked to Shannon. And that triggered museum dialogue. Oh! Okay. That's pretty this is cool. not a 2D game. That's yeah. Pretty cool. Oh, Why is are you a hologram? House? Are you? This is the museum of dwellings. I hope you're a hologram, kid. What is this? I was playing in that empty cabin, and they came by. They asked about Dr. Truman. I know where he went, but I didn't tell them. Are they talking about me? Is this the future? Where did Dr. Truman go? It's a secret. Ezra told me, and I can't tell anyone else. Who is Ezra? Yeah, he's my age. He doesn't really live here. He's just passing through with his brother, Julian. First, they're going to help us, but I don't can't say any more about that. We have lots of secrets. Hmm. Upstairs in the greenhouse. I do want to hear a weird story, actually. The old man asked me about the cabin. He said it looked like another house he knew. I just went inside of it, and he wanted to know where it came from. I told him nobody lived wait, 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 there, wait, so we he just went, went inside. inside. Exactly! They're talking about us! This is like from the future, talking back about us. He took a long time exploring. When he came back out, he told me all about it. Where was the other house he knew? What did you find in the cabin? He went upstairs and he also looked around the other rooms. I played with the dog. What did he do upstairs? He looked in some boxes. He looked out the window. He could see the museum better than when he was downstairs. He could tell how it was all put together. In the cabin, too, he could see the shape of it better from up there. Now that part... Now the part that is weird... He said he went into the basement. That cabin doesn't have a basement. Okay. He said he dug through the ground. He said he found a secret door on the floor. I'm going to stick it in the closet. A rope leading down a long pit, and he climbed down. Giant aphids. Nope. We're going to pass on the giant aphids. Uh, glowing moss is cool, though. We'll, we'll allow that. He... No, we did try yes, to the lake some the... of the moss. <laughs> Why would we uh, do that? Interesting. That's a bizarre story for me to tell, this little girl. And I don't know why it faded to black again. I wish I'd had her tell us what the dog was like. There's a birdcage over here again. The moment I now recall most clearly from their short visit was the birdcage exhibit. The old man stopped to rest, remember to think. The young woman had been anxious up to that point, but she stopped as well and examined the birdcage more closely. It seemed to her as it attended us from her. I'm guessing they're talking about shadow yes. now. Yeah. There's a chicken coop? This is a this is a hen house, right? We got to get some real chickens in that coop. Do some homestead. None of these folks know how to live off the land, you know what I mean? It's just a display. Another kind of dwelling. Okay, yeah, we'll look into it. Live chickens. Now, what's over here before I go that way? Anything? Anything? Yes, it's a thing. What is it? It is a person. That didn't do anything. You, Edith Keeler, must die. Cannot talk to you. Interesting. Let's go. Oh, and... There we go. Okay. Walker. Sure. I talked to them for a bit. Actually, we talked for quite a while. I wasn't busy. I was happy for the company. Can't sleep in a storm like that. Never could. <laughs> Christopher Walker. 
Ah, <laughs> see, oh. walking walker. Uh. Uh, <laughs> what'd you talk about? I had a bottle in my coat, and I could see the old guy looking at it, and his leg was hurt pretty bad. So I offered him some. He felt real awkward about it. I bet he's in a program. Anyway, they were asking about Dr. Truman. I remember him. He was here for a bit, and then we left. So that's what I told them. Okay. Oh, I think Walker vague. was a female. Yeah. Thanks for the detail. Yeah, useless. There you go. That one. That's Where's the bomb. Hey, that's the farmhouse. That's the farmhouse that's from the television. That's the bomb. Yeah, we gotta get there. Oh, is it the horses again? Did we go into the stable? Nope. They just poked around a bit and talked about buns. They were pretty boring. Okay, so the doghouse real quick, and then the and the the PS de resistance. That dog was in nearly as bad shape as the old man, just sort of shrugging along. They found some treats! Huzzah! In the doghouse exhibit. That seemed to cheer them up a bit. What if the dog's the only living person and I'm just a memory of the dog? Okay, I lost control. What are we gonna do? No, I didn't lose control. I want. Fine, I'll go back here. I want to go to the barn. I can't go back there. Go the other way. Maybe you can go the other way. Yeah, go around to the left. If we can't actually interact with our barn, I'm going to be really angry. Me too. Why are the... Uh, horse she's not doing a very good job of appearing. I don't see... There's a house, though. An information pedestal for the barn. I cannot go over there. Uh, I'm freaking out! Maybe you just can't go there. Yeah. Maybe I'll check out the other side of the museum. I'm pretty sure there's a side I didn't explore yet. Let's drive that forklift into something. That's not a thing. Oh, that's a thing. That's a thing. Let's go up. Into the gantry. Are we waiting for the dog? There we go. Come on, dog. Not gonna leave you behind, I guess. That dog actually really reminds me of, um... There's a cat in a Christmas movie I used to like as a kid called, uh... The Cricket of Time Central, or, or uh... Times Square, the creative Times Square. It moved in the same way. A very bony cat. Ah, uh, now we have to use the umbrella. But why are we up here? What is uh, the goal? I mean, does it matter whether or not I put my umbrella up? Oh, there's a display up here. Like, we're still indoors, though, it looks kind of like. Working in the greenhouse. They came up the elevator. They were lost, obviously. It was so obvious. Yeah, okay, we're a little lost. You don't have to rub it in, man. Could have helped us get unlost. You get dicks. This is a cool looking house. The odd shaped building. Did they go inside? Nope. <laughs> it's like a spaceship. Hmm. Whoa! You saw Whoa! That. Yeah. Yep, like a rock. There's a guy on that boat. Ahoy, Hudson! Difficult to see or even hear a storm like that, but I was awake and alert. Still in a week's forecast. It shouldn't even be out shortly, I'd say. Did you talk to them? Yes, we had a short conversation. The young woman heard my radio crackling. In the cavern and asked about it. The old man was a bit disoriented. Oh, crazy. Still looking for that doctor, okay. I, I feel like we're furthering the story, or furthering something. I hope we get carried away by the bird, Dark Souls style. Okay. 
Aha, a greenhouse. You're getting drunk in the greenhouse. The young woman asked her friend about his job. He's some kind of furniture collector or dealer. Wait, they were still talking about my job, theoretically? That's stupid. We're in the greenhouse. Okay, we're out of the greenhouse. I guess I have a history of alcoholism. Why are you Shannon and Conway not addressing the fact that they're talking about them? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they can't hear it. Okay. I saw you folks drive up. I like your truck. What kind of truck is it? Um... Ignore the question. Where is Dr. Truman? He's out in the forest. Me and Julian took him there. It was a few nights ago. Didn't want to come back. He lives there all the time now. Why are people sleeping in the museum anyway? Interesting. In this is bizarre. This that's it. Okay, I'm reading that paragraph because it's a bizarre paragraph. This museum is an okay place to live in the daytime, but it's no good at night. Folks just can't sleep in a place like this, or when they do, it gives them nightmares. So we take them out to the forest to sleep, and then bring them back in the morning. That's... none of that makes sense. That's so bizarre. Kind of in a good way, in an interesting way, but very weird. He doesn't know his family is. We have a job to do now, taking these people out to the forest at night to get them to sleep. Okay... Can you tell us how to get to the forest? Yes. Follow the Green River way out east, and then hop over Lake Cumberland. The roads don't go there. Great. But you can take me. Cool. Excellent. Coo -coo 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 -ha! Is Julian the bird? I want to ride the giant oh, bird. Oh, please tell me it's the eagle. Like Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Oh no, our umbrellas. That's awesome. You can fade to black now, thank you. Oh, we get to control the bird. No, we don't control the bird. This is still really sexy. Man, this is cool. Or do I control? I don't know. Oh, I see. Follow the green river. Wait, that was the green river. Wait, there's a diner. Do I care about the diner? I don't think I do. I care about the forest. The green, the green river. Over uh, Lake Cumberland, it says. Okay. I guess follow it south. Okay, there's a Lake Cumberland, I think. Over here. This is so much better than truck. I don't care about the bait shop. Oh, that's Nolan River Lake. That is not Lake Cumberland. I don't see a small figure. I'm gonna land. I wanna see what the small figure's up about. A tiny gray figure walks along the side of the road, carrying what appears to be a guitar case. He is following closely by a smaller shape, a dog. He suddenly winks out of view, perhaps into the woods. Is that me from a different time? Oh, look, this is the full of the green river down. Yeah, this is the green river. It was followed it east, right? The map's spinning, so I can't... Oh, we're heading east now. Okay, cool. There's a compass in the bottom left. Oh, yeah. I don't see any lakes. I feel like we're just going... There's a lake. Lake. We want to land at the lake. Let's look at the lake. What do you see? What do your elf eyes see? A shadowy figure drags itself out of the lake, stuffs its limbs into a smart blue suit, and trudges slackly out of view. That's surreal. This is Green River Lake. Is that the lake we wanted? We wanted... Lake Cumberland. Follow the Green River way out east and hop over Lake Cumberland. Well, I have not seen a Lake Cumberland. I am keep on sorry. Over that. Yeah. Something out that way. They did say way out east. So these two people, this bird and this boy, shuttle people out here every day to sleep. This seems like a dead end now. I'm pretty sure I saw a lake out this way. Let's go over that way. I saw some. Is this also the Green River? Please be Lake Cumberland. 
Oh, there's lakes everywhere. What lake are you? Lake Cumberland! Okay, excellent. Where is the forest? That looks like a forest to me. The forest! We'll drive to it! This bird is a steering wheel, apparently. Excellent. Act 2, scene 5. The final scene, I assume. A forest. Not the forest. A forest. I like that. It's going to turn into limbo any second now. Hey, what? The dog looks healthier. I look way friggin' younger. And where's Shannon? And where the heck is Shannon? There's oh, Shannon. Ezra. Oh. Oh, where Ezra? Oh, yeah, we're Ezra. Take it easy. I'm just gonna close my eyes. I don't think that's a good idea. Just take some strain off your leg for a minute and then we'll keep going. Why is why is this delivery so important to you? Oh. It's my last delivery. Oh god. This is sad. And the music makes it not any happier. Pretty wild animal when you were younger. Huh. Let's run over this way. Creepy forest musicians. Oh, a house. Oh, you're here. I love what? the banjo as an instrument. I love the banjo. I really wanted to learn the banjo, but it turns out banjos are really expensive. So I settled for the slightly cheaper mandolin. Well, you've got a mandolin? Yeah, I've got a couple. Nice. I haven't played in a while, though. I should really... Chinese instrument, right? Practice. Um... I don't know what its origins are. I think it's the Chinese It's used in a lot of... It's got like... It only got like four strings. So it technically has eight strings, but they're tuned in pairs, so you play it a lot like a four-stringed instrument. Have you ever seen a 12-string guitar? I've heard of them. Uh, this dude I don't think called I've seen them in John Butler. You should listen to it. Go on YouTube and type in John Butler Ocean. He does this. Okay. It's amazing. He plays the tw Well, he plays an eleven string guitar. He gets the twelve string guitar, but he's cut one of the strings out. Oh, okay. I feel like there's a whole other act after this. I don't know where it's going to go. We're almost there. We can handle this. Oh, that's not the blue. What do you say, blue? Well, no, apparently it's an Italian guitar for mandolin. Oh, okay. I mean, it's a stringed instrument, like... It's a lute. There's, there's probably a lot of parallel evolution in them. Apparently it's a lute. Hmm, okay. Yeah, yeah it makes it sense. It develops like in the mandolino. In, in. Oh yeah, I guess it sounds Italian now that I think about it. Is Ezra getting... Is Ezra kid? I don't know what I'm calling him. Tent. He's not looking so good. I think this is just us traveling through the woods, basically. Um, We're friends. They so Charlie die. Yeah. I don't remember Weaver. What? Oh right, Weaver is the sister, yeah, Weaver's right? The sister. Well, the cousin. Sorry, yeah. Who's talking right now? That was... that was Shannon. Okay. You're gonna have to blue every time. A big family of dogs. I'm not sure what these dog points are for. I'm assuming Julian's the eagle. The music in this, this game is really is... good. Yeah. This woods is very well populated. He's inside of Dr. Truman. Hooray! Oh, 
Oh, we can watch TV. That's gonna be spooky. You lost track of your family earlier. He's lost in the woods. Hmm. Where'd you get Julian? His family just left him. How long do you look for someone in the woods before you stop searching, I guess? I think during the exit interview is when I finally realized how badly they had me. But how else can you pay for medical school? I have college friends with debts that... You can't expect to pay that back unless you were planning to sell painkillers on the side or something. Or, you know, some kind of administrative thing. I don't know. I have seen what arthritis did to my grandmother and my best friend in high school destroy his wrists building synthesizers. I mean, he was like 17. Ailment of the joints and limbs just seem important to me. I hope that answers your question. Getting a scholarship with that pharmaceutical company had a lot of strings attached, but at least I have something somewhere to practice, even if I have to follow their market trends a bit. And hey, thanks to all those seminars, I'm an expert on the medical uses of Neuropinal TM. It's not so bad. So how about that leg? What exactly happened? What happened exactly? Oh. Was it like something grandma in the dark? Yeah. That's, don't, let's not embellish the story there, crazy old man. Ah, oh, crushing injury. Yeah, those can be no, maybe, pretty bad. Maybe Everything if gets... you chose a different option in the mine, it didn't get it did get grabbed or maybe. What are they singing about? I was not listening close enough. I was wondering why there's go. so much country in this, and I realised it's fucking Kentucky. <laughs> yeah. It's hope. Sure, it is. The same about trains. Ezra looks like he's a bald patch on his head. But it's nothing we can't handle. You might have a few things to look out for in the future, but a bit gentler with the leg or the way you walk. But you'll be okay. I've dealt with similar cases before. So the anesthetic we'll use is called, yeah, the one you're just talking about, pretty experimental, but it's more appropriate in cases like yours. You start, it works, count backwards from five to start the process, and then we'll just have a normal conversation as the neuropinal takes effect. Neuro, neary, eh, seems like a brain thing. No, five, neuro is neuripnol. Four, three, two, it's, one. It's pronounced neuripnol, so that's by the way. Billing. Okay. How do you say it? Neuripnol. Neuripnol, got it. Well, it sure seems like it's messing with my mind. He's trying to scam me. He gave me the drugs, and then he wanted to talk about billing. <laughs> Where are we going? Am I dying? Is it just the end of Act 2? A very ambiguous ending, if so. Yep. Do you want to take a break here? Or do you want to finish the game? I'm afraid if I take a break, then I won't want to carry on with this game, so let's just finish it. I agree. Let me get um, a piece of candy real quick. My stomach's hungry.
Okay. Yeah, this game's starting to grate on me a bit. It's a bit too... I don't know what the word is. Convoluted. Artsy. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what is going on. And I'm not sure how much of that uh, has us to blame. You know, I don't know. I don't feel like... I've been trying to pay pretty good attention. And a lot of it's just... Stuff, not if, context if, if, stuff. If, it, if it's, it's our fault for missing something, then that's kind of the fault of the game because a lot of this game has a lot of dialogue that means nothing. So how are you supposed to know yeah, when... as far as we can tell. Yeah, how are you supposed to know when dialogue is pertinent to the exposition or just random <laughs> bullshit that the character's spewing about nothing? <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Like when we were talking about the Tallulah and then she went on about her own life story. Like, no one's fucking asking you, bitch. <laughs> this is a flashback right now, I think. Because we're talking to Lisette. Oh, all right. Cool. Uh, I assume it's a flashback. Oh, dear. So Charlie was our son. He was a roofer. We talked about roofing earlier. It seems like he I thought Lisette had a wife. fell off the uh, roof. I thought Lisette had a husband. Um, I don't remember that. No, in the, do you know when you were talking to the doctor? Yeah. And they were talking about your family. The family. Yeah, when they were talking about Lissette, you said yeah, one of the dialogue options was that she, yeah, you were best friends with his uh, her husband. Oh, his husband. Okay. No, oh, well. It was a tragedy. What's happened? Just talking about her husband falling off the roof and dying. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Well, Charlie. Yes. Charlie's son. That's what I thought. Charlie was the son, right? Yeah, okay. and then um, Ira was the husband. Oh, okay. Oh, that's why dead. when you talked about Charlie, you said she had a son. Yeah. Oh. Now this is this is me getting the order, the uh, the dogwood order. Death rattle finale. We're going with finale. <laughs> she wanted death rattle. Mm, she's got dementia. Oh dear. Oh shit. I don't know why I'm so naughty and swaying. The fives. So she's got dementia. Hmm. Yep. Or Alzheimer's, one of the two. Some something of that ilk. And then he's gonna go to you and Truman. <laughs> Thank you.